Attention gamers, today we will be talking about guns, gun combos, incest, confusion, goths, squishy things, more guns, Billy Joe Armstrong, ASMR, and skinny jeans. That's right, today we will be talking about Aphelios, the glass cannon of the faithful, and when I say cannon, I actually mean 5 cannons, and when I say 5 cannons I mean used to be 5 cannons until 90% of the player base looked at the 77 pages describing his passive and decided to stick to something easier to understand until these confused children started queef tweeting the word balance at riot because this kept happening. So when I say 5 cannons I actually mean 5 nerf guns, and a lot of mascara. And when I say glass, I mean this punk rocker has a micro green ween above his head so when your team feeds some shadow slut floating crab claw a 7 course meal before you can even afford your first butter knife, you will develop a case of the achy anus. So without further to do, welcome to the first not your grandma's guide, to Aphelios, the achy anus nerf gun wielding mascara man, of the faithful. Aphelios's fun fact about himself during icebreakers is that he was born during a lunar eclipse and that he has a twin sister who spoiler alert is dead or trapped in some spirit realm or some weird shiz who is always ASMR whispering dirty things into his ear. Growing up the two of them didn't have any friends as they just hung out in dark caves and bonded deeply, with each other. Then basically Alun was the straight-A student while Aphelios was just raging out on Fortnite so she got sent to some smart kids boarding school and he just went to depression camp where he became a raging alcoholic and drank things that numbed him from the fact that he was the stupid one in the family. Then some spirit fetish festival was about to happen so the village decided to promote Alun to get sun sucked but something went wrong and she temple quested her way into some death realm. But her and Aphelios exchanged walkie-talkies before she left so now the twins get to live happily ever after with her whispering seductive sounding little lies directly into his dumb sped monkey head. I will not let you die. His passive is called the arsenal of uncertainty because this is where the confusion begins. He has 5 weapons but he can only carry 2 at a time so you always have one in your main hand and the other in your pocket and every gun has some long ass name and they all ironically rhyme with dumb. The guns use ammo and when it's out of ammo you just throw it away and ask your sex sister to pass you a new one. Let's start with your W because it is straightforward even though Riot named the ability phase to fit with the theme of confusion considering all it does is switch the weapon in your hand with the one in your pocket. Then your auto attacks, your Q, and your alt, all do different things depending on which gun you have in your hands and you don't have an E because Riot wanted your UI to look like a dislocated finger. Your first weapon is your pencil dick sniper rifle. You have Caitlyn like range with this weapon and your Q is just a simple slow moving skill shot but if you hit something, your next auto attack against the idiot that got hit by it will have roided up attack range and apply the effect of whatever weapon you currently have in your pocket, which leads to some dope Kirby like combo crafting that I will talk about later. When you ult, which is just a giant glazed blueberry skill shot, if the sniper is in your main hand, the blueberry will do bonus damage. Your second weapon is apparently a pistol but its attacks look more like you are towel whacking people with the first thing you grab to clean up that cool aid that you whipped across the room when your support locked in Yasuo. Auto attacks with this weapon heal you and your Q slips a bit of coke up your a-hole making you move faster and alternate 6 spaz attacks with your main hand and pocket weapon. Your ult gives you a thick heal if your donkey ass manages to hit something with it. Your third weapon is Gary Glue Gun. Attacks with this weapon slow your enemy and mark them, pressing Q puts a seat belt on all marked enemies. Using your ult with this weapon results in the explosion of ectoplasm everywhere. Uh, that was a, that was a ghost! Uh, this, this ectoplasm! All enemies who take a bite out of the glazed blueberry get slowed. Your fourth weapon is the snow cone cannon, attacks with this weapon splinter into mini me's on contact and your Q ejaculates a bunch of snow cones in the direction you aim it and then pulls out the pocket weapon for a quick celeb shot against all targets hit. Alting with this weapon results in the deadly delayed droppings of damage that you see in every clickbaited montage. And lastly we have the bouncy boomerang. When you attack with this weapon, you are just playing wall ball with yourself and you can't throw the ball again until you catch it. So Genius Rav here discovered that if you stand closer to your targets, you get to attack faster. Your Q with this guy takes whatever weapon is in your pocket and attaches it to a Heimerdinger turret. 
It's also worth noting that when this weapon is in your pocket any effects from other weapons that fire off pocket desk pops will allow you to collect more boomerangs temporarily allowing a rapid fire temper tantrum of twirly boys to be thrown at your enemy. Ulting with this weapon gives you 3 of these collectibles immediately. Side note, you don't level up your abilities on Mr. Face Tattoo because that would be too normal so you just pick between attack damage, attack speed, and lethality every time you ding. Now I didn't forget about all the Kirby combos you can create from pairing weapons that your walkie-talkie kinky twin gives you. So let's talk about a few. Bouncy Boomerang plus Sniper lets you pop a babbling Becky down in the fight and then go long range hunting on repeat which allows you to collect little bouncy boomerangs and fire them off as well. The red Kool-Aid towel plus the snow cone cannon makes your spaz out turn into a snowball fiesta. Combine the Kool-Aid towel with the boomerang and press Q to get a dank amount of collectibles that you can chuck at the enemy. And lastly Sniper plus Gary Glue Gun can turn you into your team's pick potential with a long range request for this stick that stole Teemo's clothes to sit still for a minute. And if you don't feel like playing Permutation Playhouse with all the ways you can combo, you can just turn your brain off by using the RAV approach which is to get both your current guns to less than 10 ammo and then run into battle spamming Q and W mindlessly to take advantage of the fact that you can then use the Q ability of all 4 guns with 0 cooldown in between. So yeah it might get confusing, but if you forget everything else, just remember to ult while holding your snow cone cannon and you'll be okay. The game starts out with me resorting to some cheesy cheap strategy of bush camping to get ahead because actually relying on being better than my enemy is always a gamble for me so I take out good old Gary glue gun to tie down Timmy tiptoes so that Captain America Blitzcrank can give him an uppercut before I nab the kill. Then I stomp back into lane like Bobby Big Balls with his BF sword and we decide to ignore the crowd of pocket sized red robins to practice our synchronized sword stun sitting but then I drop a babbling Becky to pepper Dashy Darla as she makes a lot of noise before we put her down. I chase counting Dracula because that sword orbiting shitter's booty left me wanting more until these gold hard stuck greedy cheeks step on a trap and get purple nurpled. But in comes the star spangled blitzcrank to the rescue as I accumulate boomerang collectibles to show off for when he asks Jin to come hang out with us. We catch up with opera boy again and my support greets him with a firm handshake as I follow up by jamming my Q and W keys on repeat to create a combo that looks intentional. I called up the guys over at Dude Perfect and asked if they'd be down to do a collab and they wanted me to send them a trick shot so I made my support show them the pissy plant pullback for our submission. I decide to use my Gary glue gun to alt and put some seat belts on the fleeing Felicias to make things easy for the hooker I hired to provide happy endings in these fights. Sorty Locks sings a song called Dying in My Diamond and then we start to craft our plan for the idiot who won't stop yelling numbers at us. We decided to murder him on private property because Rolly Boy assured me that the statues are all for show and that their lasers just tickle as he tanks 3 shots with ease, and then I am reminded that ADCs can't play with the big kids as the first shot on me does 40% of my health and kills me. Sally Swollen Hands then decides to rub in the fact that I can't tank turret shots so I unload the glazed blueberry on her cocky ass to even out the trade before having a spaz attack on Timmy Tiptoes. Then I know you are all wondering how the 1v1 between the ADCs ended so to eliminate any suspense, I got poke choked smoked and ultimately soaked in my own sped slobber like a total moron. Then I run mid to help out the anorexic tree that just gave life to a fat flower pot to fight against tiny Dumbledore. The mall cop tunnels onto these squishy tits so I plant a babbling Becky on the ground and kite out of sight, from this night with smite, damn right, drop the mic, bitches. One last fight breaks out where I rub some glue on the bladed bimbo to stick her in base, then I ran around the circle of shame to give the teeny weeny wizard a slap with the kool-aid towel before ending the fight with a spaz attack on the raging polar bear. 
I hope you enjoyed the first episode of Not Your Grandma's Champion Guides and I wanted to end it by giving a huge shout out and thank you to all the people who contribute to the RAV brand and credit those who have worked quietly in the background to make this video possible. And finally, a huge thanks to all of you spending some of your time to watch my dumb videos. I appreciate every single one of you and as always, pet your dog jerk your ween buy my merch and brush your teeth tonight. RAV out.